So essentially I'm going to call this like a mixed general class and what I'd like you to do is just do natural breathing and natural breathing has got four main components. One is when you inhale you should feel it low in the abdomen, pelvic floor or lower back. Two is when you exhale just allow the air to come out by itself, don't force it out. Three, natural breathing is something which there's not much of. Generally, a person in natural breathing standing, it'll be like invisible, inaudible breath. Four, natural breathing has the advantage that you don't have to think about it. But I'd like you to every once in a while check that you can breathe comfortably into the abdomen without strain. Then, when we're moving, I'll make a click sound, which means you can now, if you wish, carry out the instruction I'm offering and that instruction might be either something which I'm doing visually, in other words, you'll see me move and you can follow me, such as my arms coming up, but how much you move in the direction I say is dependent on you. Don't look for stretch, look for length. Don't look for tension, look for moving the body into different positions in the relaxed way as possible. And when you're moving, always check that there's no sense of discomfort physically, physiologically, or otherwise. Now, I'll only tend to instruct the things that you can't see. So as much as you can, keep your eyes on me. If my eyes are looking straight ahead, which I'll often be this way, just imagine that's where your eyes should be looking this way. If my eyes turn in a different position, you can also turn in different positions. All right, so each movement should be initiated from the lower abdominal region doesn't necessarily mean you're going to go hard in that region, but just move that part first. So in everyday life, often our hips move a lot, especially in flexion, so maybe move the hips less in flexion at the moment, and just keep a sense that the spine has to move first. The lower spine, the middle spine, upper spine, shoulders, then maybe the hips and the knees, and finally the head. Begin with your fingertips touching, start with your knees a little bit bent, and sense that overall you are lengthening and relaxing. Lengthen the lower back by dropping the sitting bones down and moving the sitting bones and the whole body weight forward over the feet. Move the top of the hips slightly back so you open the front of the hips which are often closed during seated positions during the day and feel the lower back become long. Move your lower front ribs inwards so you feel the upper spine as well. Move the shoulders forward and down and just breathe naturally for the moment. Let the neck relax and check it's relaxed. Let the shoulders relax, check they're free. Make the fingertips lengthened, but check they can move. Each movement starts from somewhere, the lower spine, so you'll hear me say things like move your navel, left or right, up or down. You'll hear me say lengthen the lower back, or the right side of the lower back, or left side. And in this way, it'll help you move from the core. Begin with an arm, end with an arm. Breathe into the abdomen. Natural breath in and follow my clicks and movements less or more than me follow. Move the navel forward and down. Lengthen the back of the body. Move the navel backward and up. Keep the back long and then lengthen the front of the body. Move the navel forward and lengthen the back, lower back, upper back, lift the shoulders forward and up. Keep the back of the body long, then move the navel forward and up, throat forward, chin up and lengthen the front. Bring the chin in and bring down your arms and lengthen lower back, upper back and turn your shoulders in. Keep the back long, move the hips forward and lengthen the front of the body. Point the fingers toward the shoulders and then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, bring the shoulders and arms up, lower the tailbone, and then stay or raise the heels up. Keep the legs firm, and if comfortable, fingers go higher, tailbone goes lower. Check the neck is relaxed and the tummy can breathe. Keep the tailbone pushing down as you lift the body back up. Then lower the heels and lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. As you bring the arms forward and down, lengthen the back of the body, groin forward, keep the back long, and expand the abdomen and the chest, move the shoulders back. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, bring the shoulders forward and up, 
So you're lengthening your front hips, the lower back and upper back. Now expand the abdomen, the chest, and lift throat forward, chin up. Breathe into the abdomen. Fingers high, tailbone low. Again, lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, and bring down the arms. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, and lift the shoulders forward and up. Check the neck is free. Fingers go higher, tailbone goes lower, stay, or optionally raise the heels. Fingers stay stretching up and bend the knees. Neck is soft, fingers can move. Check the tummy can breathe. And lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back, and bring the shoulders forward and down. Move the pubic bone forward and up. And then move the navel forward and down. And breathe naturally into the abdomen. Keep your throat forward and chin up to release the neck and still be able to see what I'm doing. Stay or tailbone down, heel raise. Stay or bend the knees further, taking care not to stress the knees. Come back up and lower the heels down. Move the groins forward and keep the back of the body long. Move the navel forward and up, lift navel, chest, and move the shoulders back and down. Then turn the shoulders out and extend the wrists, opening the lung meridian. Breathe into the abdomen. Stay your tailbone down, heel raise, lifting the collarbone up and the tailbone down. Neck is free, head down, neck back. Lower the heels, then lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back in sequence if you can. Bring the shoulders forward as you point the fingers up and then bend the elbows. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back and take the shoulders forward and up. And then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back and bend the elbows. Now we're going to lengthen the left side of the body. Move the navel to the left side and up. Lift your left elbow higher, tailbone lower. Move the shoulders apart and relax your throat. Take the arms apart, lengthen your fingers and check they can move. Keeping the back of the body long, the ribs in. Having lengthened the left side of the trunk, now focus on left outer hip. Lengthen the left side of the body. Left arm up, right arm down, tailbone down. Check the neck can move and the tummy can breathe. Keeping left side lengthened, Lower the right sitting bone and lengthen the right lower back, right upper back, right arm up. Fingers stretching up, lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back and bring the shoulders forward and down. Relax. Move the navel to the right side and up. Lengthen the right side of the trunk. Move the shoulders apart, relax your throat. Hands apart. Check the neck can move. The fingers are lengthened but can move. Check the tummy can breathe. Keeping the back of the body long, right side of the trunk long, focus on the right hip and lengthen the right outer hip. Right arm higher, left arm lower. Check the neck can move, the fingers can move and the tummy can breathe. Keep the right side lengthening up as you lengthen left lower back, left upper back, left shoulder up. Again lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back as you bring the arms down. Then keep the hips still. Keep the head where it is, relax your abdomen, and move the navel to the right side. Then move the chest, then the shoulders, but look towards me with the left ear lifted. Breathe naturally into the abdomen and lower back. Take the elbows and wrists to straighten. Keep the face soft and move the shoulders apart. Relax the throat. Lower the tailbone, stay, or turn from the hips as well. Keep the left arm still and move the navel back to the center, bringing the right arm under the left. Keep the back of the body long, move the groin forward, and expand the front of the body. Lift the collarbone and move the shoulders back and down. Now drop the tailbone, and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, shoulders forward and up, and then relax. Relax the navel, and move from the navel to the left. Then move the chest, and the shoulders, but keep your hips still. Look towards me with the right ear lifted. Breathe into the abdomen and lower back. Straighten the elbows if comfortable. And check the shoulders are apart, but the neck is free. Lengthen the fingers, but check they can move. And keeping the back of the body long, move from the hips if it's comfortable.
Right arm stays still. Navel brings the left arm under the right, and then keeping the back of the body long. Move the groin forward and expand the front of the body. Keep the front lengthened. And now lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Shoulders forward and up, then shoulders down. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Lift the shoulders, then the arms, keeping the back of the body long. Without, length, without shortening the back, expand the abdomen. And lift the chest, and then the throat, forward, chin up. Breathe into the abdomen. Bring the chin in and then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back as the arms go down. And move the navel forward and down. Lengthen the back. Lengthen the back of the body. Then groin forward, expand the front of the body. Come to your left toe tip. Back lengthen. Groin forward. Front lengthen. Again, back, lengthen, stay on the toe tip, or if comfortable, lift up your left hip and then left knee. Look at the floor for balance. Grip with your right toes for balance. Bend the standing leg for balance. Come to left toe tip and lengthen lower back, upper back, shoulders forward. Groin forward, expand the abdomen, chest and moving the shoulders back. Stay there or lift up your left leg. Lengthen and relax. Keep the legs straight, but stay as relaxed as you can, and then bend the elbows, bend the knees. Come back down. Lean on the left leg, come to right toe tip, and lengthen lower back and upper back, groin forward. Keep the back long, expand the abdomen, and lift the collarbone, moving the shoulders back. Lengthen lower back as you bring the arms forward and up, then forward and down, stay, or lifting from the pubic bone, lift up the right knee. Relax. Look at the floor for balance. Grip with your left toes for balance and keep the standing leg bent to help the balance. Check your neck can move. Your fingers can move and check your tummy can breathe. Come to the right toe tip and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Groin forward. Expand the abdomen, the chest and move the shoulders back and down. Keep lifting your collarbone and move the pubic bone forward. Lifting up the leg if comfortable. Check the neck can move. The fingers can move and the tummy can breathe. Bend the elbow, bend the knees. Come back down. Lean on your right leg, come to left toe tip. Lengthen the back of the body. Then rotate the navel to the right. Groin forward, expand the front of the body. Lift the collarbone. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Now lengthen the right side of the trunk. Move the shoulders apart and relax your throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Right arm higher, tailbone lower. Now lift the left hip. Stay or lift up the left side of the body. Now you have your left side firm and the right side relaxed. Neck soft, face soft. This replicates Parshva Konasana. Come to the left toe tip and lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Turn softly from the navel to the right side. Keep the back long and expand the navel and chest. Lift the collarbone. Open the palms, lengthening the lung meridians. Stay or lift the left leg. Turn the left thigh out, here mimicking the triangle or trikonasana position. Check the neck is free. The fingers can move. Toes can move. Check you can breathe comfortably into your abdomen. Bend the elbow. Bend the knees and come back down. Lean on the right leg, come to left leg, come to right toe tip and lengthen lower back and upper back. Turn the navel to the left, it's a twisting forward bend. Navel forward and up is a twisting backward bend. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Now lengthen the left side of the trunk. Move one vertebrae at a time, then move the shoulders apart, relax the throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Now lift the right hip. Firming the right side, relax the left side of the trunk. Stay or lift up the right leg. And push the shoulders apart, relax your throat. Push the sitting bones apart and sense your pelvic floor feels relaxed. Check the neck can move, the tummy can breathe. Come to right toe tip and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. 
rotate the navel to the left, move the groin forward and expand the front of the body. Stay or lift up the right leg and turn the right thigh out. Neck soft, face soft, throw it relaxed. Bend the knees, bend the elbows, come back down, lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, groin forward. Expand the abdomen, chest and lift the collarbone, bring the shoulders back and down. Now lift the shoulders as you lengthen the back. Lengthen the right side of the trunk. Move the shoulders apart, relax your throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Keep the right hand stretching up, tailbone going down. Stay, or perhaps lift up the left leg. And since the lower back is still lengthened, the buttocks, lower buttocks become firm, the left hamstring a bit soft. Lengthen the front of the left hip and relax. Come to your left toe tip, move the groin forward and move the navel forward and down and lengthen the lower back. Keep the back long, now expand the abdomen and move the navel forward and up. Keep the back long and keep the tailbone down, tailbone staying down, lift up your left leg and turn the left thigh in until your buttocks becomes relaxed and your hamstrings firm. This is very good to protect your knees. Check the neck is relaxed. The fingers can move and the tummy can breathe. Come forward from the navel towards your left toe to perhaps lift up your left leg and bring the left leg back down. Lengthen the back. Come to right toe tip. Lengthen the front of the body. Shoulders back and down. Lower back lengthen, upper back lengthen, shoulders forward and up. Then from that position, come to right toe tip behind you and lengthen the lower back, upper back. Lengthen the front of the body. Again, lengthen the back and left side, lift up. Shoulders apart, relax the throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Tailbone stays down. Perhaps lift up your right leg until you feel length in your lower back. Lengthen the front of the right hip. And your buttocks might go firm in the inferior buttocks, the hamstring soft. This is good for your hip. Length and relax. Come to right toe tip with the groin forward. And again, lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. So if you were to feel your lower back skin, you wouldn't be able to pinch it. So you keep the tailbone down, lower back unpinchable. Then expand the abdomen and open the front of the body without closing the back. Keep the front long as you again lengthen the back. Keep the tailbone down, turn the right thigh in and lift the right leg if you can. Without lifting the tailbone, now check the right hamstring firm, inner thigh firm, the buttocks soft. Here, this is good to release the sacroiliac joint and to strengthen around the knee. Check the toes are lengthened but can move. The neck lengthened but can move. The trunk lengthened but the tummy can breathe. Now calm, by sucking in the navel, bring the right foot forward. Perhaps lift up the leg and then bring it back down. Lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip and twist to the left side. But look towards me with the right ear lifted and then lengthen the back. Groin forward, expand the front of the body, neck soft. Bend the elbows and twist the navel to the left. Lengthen the left side of the trunk. Drop the tailbone and move the navel forward and down. Now move the left leg to the right side. Stay or expand the front of the body and perhaps lift up the left leg. Here mimicking what Parvita Parshvokanasana could offer. Check the shoulders are apart, but the neck is free. Fingers are lengthened, but they can still move. Spine lengthened, but the tummy can breathe. Come to your left toe tip. Straighten the left leg and take the arms to the left, but look over the right shoulder with the right ear lifted. Check the neck is free. Stay or turn further with the shoulders pushing apart. Stay or with the left thigh turning out, perhaps lift the left leg to simulate Parvita trick on asana. Neck relaxed, fingers can move. Abdomen can breathe using your diaphragm. Bend the elbows, bend the knees. Stay in the twist and bring the left foot back down. Relax. Right arm stays still. Use your navel to move back to the center, left arm under the right. Groin forward, lengthen the front of the body. 
then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back and come to right toe tip as you twist to the right side. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Move your groin forward and expand. Abdomen and chest. Look towards me, left ear lifted. Twist to the right side. Lengthen the right side. Move the navel forward and down to lengthen your lower back. Now move right foot to left. And stay, or if comfortable, expand your abdomen and perhaps lift up your right knee. Shoulders apart, relax your throat. Sitting bones apart, feel relaxed in the pelvic floor. Feel relaxed in your abdomen, but of course if you touched it, the abdomen would feel firm. But you should check your abdomen can feel like breath can come there. The diaphragm is still able to breathe. Come to the right toe tip and take the arms back behind you. Then from there, look towards me, left ear lifted. Stay or lift up the right leg to the left side. Check the shoulders are apart, but the neck is free. Check the fingers lengthen, but they can move. Bend the elbows, bend the knees, and staying in the twist, come back down. Move the navel back to the center and bring the right arm under the left. Groin forward, navel forward and up, lift the collarbone, shoulders back and down, drop the tailbone and lift the shoulders forward and up. Bring down the arms and then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Lift the shoulders up, keep the back long, lengthen the front. Drop the tailbone and perhaps lift up the leg. Keep the fingers stretching up as the tailbone comes back down. Keep the lower back lengthening as the arms come back down. And relax. Step to the front of the mat, big toes touching, heel apart. Bend the knees slightly and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Shoulders forward and up. Keep the back of the body long and expand the abdomen, chest and move throat forward, chin up. Bring the chin in and again lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back with the knees slightly bent. Bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips with the knees bent, not the head. Bring the head down last, chin in. Push the hips down and expand the abdomen to lift throat forward, chin up. Lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip behind you or lift the left leg in the air, bend the right knee and relax. Touch the left toe tip to the floor and then move the groin forward, expand the abdomen, lifting and lengthening the front without shortening the back. Move the navel forward and down and lengthen the nerves from the back of the neck to the front of the hips. Push the hips forward, look forward or stand and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, releasing the front of the hips and especially the soles. Push the sitting bones apart but push the tailbone forward. Lengthen the lower back and the upper back as you bring down the arms. Bend from the spine, not the hips. Then bend from the hips and come back to the kneeling plank position. Palms flat, fingers grip, heel of hand squeeze inwards. Stay or bend the elbows so shoulders and elbows are the same height, chin in. Stay or raise the chin. Stay or shoulders down, then up. Stay or tailbone down, knees up. Relax. Come to a simple cobbler, pressing the tailbone down. Lengthen your wrists and pull with your elbows. Breathe into the abdomen, freeing the lower spine. Release your arms and then focus on the lower back being lengthened as you come back to the kneeling plank. Push the tailbone down, ribs up, simulating a low lasting position. Tail down, knees up, come back to the downward facing dog and check you can see your abdomen, assuming you weren't wearing a shirt. Sitting bones down, top of the hips up, lengthen the lower back. Ribs up, expand the upper back. Bend the knees and take the legs to the hands in silence, stepping or lightly jumping. Big toe touching, heel apart, lift the ribs up, push the tailbone down, and expand the abdomen to lift throat forward, chin up. Push the tailbone down as you bring the navel down, shoulders down, head down last, chin in. Lift the ribs and expand the abdomen, throat forward, chin up. Knee on the left leg and step back the right leg to toe tip, put right leg in the air if you can. Relax your shoulders, bend the left knee and come to a lunge and push the tailbone forward as you lift throat forward, chin up. Bring the head down, neck back. Push the tailbone forward, look forward or stand. 
and lengthen the lower back, middle back and upper back. Feeling length come to the front of the right hip. Lift the shoulders up. Neck is soft. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back as you bring down the arms. Move the navel forward and down and bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head and come back to a kneeling plank. Palms flat, fingers grip, heel of hand squeezing inwards. Keep the elbows over the wrists as you bend the elbows. Shoulders and elbows same height. Stay or lift the chin up. Go further down and then lift the shoulders back up. Tailbone down, stay your knees up. Stay or come to a full plank and a full push up, checking that your neck can move, your shoulders can move, your tummy can breathe and your calf. Come to lie on the abdomen, pull with your elbows and push the tailbone down, the knees up. Lengthen the front of the body without shortening the back. Stay, or hands next to lower ribs and lift to the same shape in the air. Then breathe into the abdomen. Breathe further into the chest. Come back to lie on the floor. Release the hands and lengthen the lower back to come back to the kneeling plank. Middle back, upper back. Tail down, knees up, come back to the downward facing dog and gaze at your navel. Sitting bones push down. Top of the hips lift up. Lengthen your lower back. Ribs lift up. Lift the upper back. Bend the knees. Take the legs to the hands in silence. Stepping or lightly jumping with no jarring. Big toe touching. Heel apart. Ribs up. Tailbone push down. Expand the abdomen to lift throat forward. Chin up. Push the tailbone down. And bring the navel down. Chest down. Shoulders and head down. Chin in. Push the hips forward, stand up. Then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back as you lift the shoulders, then the elbows, then the wrists. Keep the back of the body long and expand the abdomen and chest. Breathe from the abdomen up. Bring the chin in and then lengthen the lower back to bring the arms back down. Bend the knees slightly. Move the hips forward and lengthen the lower back and the front of the hips. Bring the shoulders forward and up. Keep the back long, expand the abdomen, and lift the chest, then throw it forward, chin up. Breathe into the abdomen, up the spine. Bring the chin in, and then move the navel forward and down, bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head, and palms flat in front of the feet, knees bent. Bring the chin in, gaze at the navel, and keep the palms flat, perhaps straighten the legs, but only if there's absolutely no sense of discomfort in the spine. Bend the knees. Lean on the palms, raise up the head, raise the heels if you can, and push the sitting bones down, the top of the hips up, lengthen the lower back, ribs up, lift the upper back, then push the navel towards the hands and breathe into the abdomen. Perhaps lifting the legs in the air, come back to the kneeling plank position. Fingers grip, palms flat. Heel of hand squeeze inwards, stay or lower to the kneeling push-up. Perhaps lifting the chin, shoulders down, up. Perhaps coming to full plank, full push-up. But keeping shoulders and elbows same height, stay or come to a simple cobra or go straight to the full upward facing dog. Lengthen the front to the dog without shortening the back. V up the spine to the abdomen. Come back to the kneeling plank, lengthening lower back first. Then the upper back. Gaze at the navel and the downward facing dog. Bend the knees. Raise the head and take the legs to the hands. Stepping or lightly jumping in silence. And then ribs up. Sitting bones down. Expand the navel to lift throat forward. Chin up. Navel forward and down. Shoulders down. Head down last. The knees bent initially, but perhaps the legs can straighten if there's no strain in the spine. Chin in, push the hips forward, stand up. Then lengthen the back, lift the shoulders, elbows and wrists. Keep the back long and expand the abdomen, throat, chin. Chin in, lengthen the lower back as you bring the arms down. And lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Lean on the right leg. Step the left leg back to toe tip. Stay or lift up the left leg in here and relax. Here activating the posture that will prepare you for the triangle position. 
keep a sense of the outer left hip active, the weight through the right leg. And when you put the left foot to the floor, keep that sensation. Keep looking towards me with the right ear lifted, then lengthen the lower back, middle back and upper back. Keep the back lengthening and turn the navel to the left side. Groin forward, expand the front of the body. Then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, and take the right arm in front, making a right fist. Left arm behind, lengthen the fingers. Adjust your feet so the right foot turns in slightly but squeezes in at the heel. Left foot turns out but squeezes in at the big toe. Then stay, or keeping length in the back, bring your right arm down toward the right ankle. And either stay or grab the right ankle and pull up. Turn the left thigh inwards, but keep the back of the body long and rotate the navel toward the ceiling, perhaps turning head as well. Check the neck is free, the fingers can move, and the tummy can breathe. Look down, bend the right knee, push in the right foot, and stand up, lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip, lengthen the back of the body, rotate the navel to the left, and expand the front of the body as you rotate to the right. Bend the elbow and point the fingers to your shoulder palm facing up. Lengthen the back of the body. Lengthen the right side of the trunk. Drop the tailbone and keeping the back of the body long, lift the left hip. Stay or lift the left leg up. Near lumbar, Ardha Chandrasana. Here, left side becomes firm. Right side totally relaxed. Check the neck is relaxed with your shoulders apart. Come to left toe tip and lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Groin forward, expand the abdomen, then the chest. Lower back lengthen, upper back lengthen. Keep the tailbone down, turn the left thigh in, and without lifting the tailbone, perhaps lift the left leg extending the left thigh. Soften the face. Come forward from your hips to your toe tip and perhaps lift up the left leg. A stand one leg version of Lolas. Relax. Big toe touching, heel apart, bend the knees and lengthen the lower back. Lean on the left, left leg, come to right toe tip. Stay or with the back lengthened, perhaps lift the right leg in the air. Relax. Bring the right foot back to the floor, having the right foot turned out, left foot turned in. Stretch the mat from the sitting bones into the feet but squeeze right big toe inwards, left heel inwards, and then lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Twist the navel to the right side, but look towards me with the left ear lifted. Groin open, still twisting to the right, open the front of the body. Then lengthen the back of the body and make a left fist with straight left elbow. Straighten the right arm, and then sense that perhaps your left arm might want to come down to your left ankle. If comfortable, grab the left ankle, squeeze it with your fingers and pull up. Lengthen the back of the body. Turn the right thigh inwards, but now if comfortable, rotate the navel further upwards. Right thigh turns toward the floor. Spine and navel turns toward the ceiling. Check the neck is free. The fingers can move. The tummy can breathe. Look down. Bend the left knee, push on the left foot, and stand up. Lean on the left leg, come to right toe tip, and lengthen the back of the body. Rotate to the right side. Lift the front of the body and rotate to the left, moving each vertebrae. Then, lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, and move the navel left side and up, lifting the left side of the trunk. Left elbow highest, tailbone lowest. Keep the back long, then lift the right hip, and right side will firm. Left side and middle, stay relaxed. Stay or lift up the right leg. Move the shoulders apart and relax your throat. Palms open. Check the fingers are lengthened, but they can move. Come back to your right toe tip. Face the front and lengthen the lower back and upper back. Move the hips forward from the tailbone and expand the abdomen, then the chest. Lengthen the lower back as you bring the arms down, then push the tailbone down as you lift the inner right thigh up. Roll, roll the right thigh inwards. 
Come back to your right toe tip, left groin forward. Lift the pubic bone, the knee perhaps, and move the navel forward and down. Lengthen and relax. Big toes touching, heels apart. Bend the knees and move the navel forward and down. Push the hips forward. Lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip perhaps. Lift up your left leg and bend the right knee. Relax. Right knee above the right heel. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. And twist the navel to the left. Look towards me with the right ear lifted. Expand the abdomen, then the chest. And then take the arms wide. Parshva Virabhadrasana, the archer's pose. Look toward the right arm. Roll your left thigh towards the right arm, but rotate the spine and the navel toward the left arm. Relax. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Keep the navel twisting to the left. Keep the back long and expand the front. Then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. And lengthen the left side of the trunk, lifting the left side of the navel. Left side lifts up. Shoulders apart, relax your throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Take the left armpit past the ear if you can. Stay here or take the right elbow, right knee, or if comfortable, right fingers to the floor on the outside of the right foot. Lengthen the right lower back. Perhaps turn the navel toward the ceiling. Keep the back of the body long, then expand the abdomen, chest, and perhaps move the throat forward, chin up to gaze at the fingers of the left hand. Look down, push on the right foot, lower the left hand and stand. Turn the left foot slightly inwards, step it slightly forward if it makes it easier. Then lengthen the lower back, upper back, groin forward, expand the abdomen and the chest, bend the elbows and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Here balance is easier if you turn the right foot in slightly and squeeze the right heel. Then rotate the navel to the right side. Look towards me, left ear lifted. Lengthen right back, right arm up, left arm to the right side. Stay or bend from the spine, not the hips. Stay or bend from the hips. Bring the left arm as far past the knee as you can. Perhaps palm flat to the floor if comfortable. Then keeping the back of the body long, without lifting the tailbone, without dropping the top of the hips. Expand the abdomen, chest, and move the throat forward, chin up, to perhaps gaze at the fingers of the right hand. Relax. Lengthen and relax. Look down. Push on the right foot. Push the hips forward and stand. Still in a twist. Lengthen the front of the body. Rotate the navel back toward the center. Groin forward. Expand navel and chest. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring the arms forward, then down. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, lift the arms up. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, bring the arms down, bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head. Then bring your left foot in front of the right, come to the toe tip. Lift the pubic bone and perhaps lift the left leg. Relax. Feel relaxed. Bend the knees, bring big toe touching, heel apart, knees bent, spine bent forward. Lean on the left leg, step back the right leg to toe tip, perhaps lift the right leg up. Bend the left knee and relax. Here the basic pose in the air without the floor and gravity to help you. Come to the right foot, back to the floor. Push the sitting bones apart, stretching them out with your feet, but start that pressure from the sitting bones, from your core. Then lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. The right foot turns out, but the right thigh trying to turn toward the front. Twist the navel to the back of the room, but look towards me with your left ear lifted. Then expand the abdomen. Lift the collarbone without hardening your trunk. Bend the elbows. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, and then straighten the elbows for Parshva Virabhadrasana. Look toward the left fingers. Right thigh rotating toward the left fingers, but make the trunk rotate toward the right side, like pulling a bow and arrow. 
neck soft, fingers can move, tummy can breathe. Then lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring the arms back behind you. Twist more to the right. Keep the back long as you expand the front. Look towards me, left ear lifted and lengthen the lower back and upper back. Now lengthen from the right waist. Right waist comes up, lift the right shoulder up. Shoulders apart, relax your throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Right arm past the ear if comfortable. Left shoulder down. Keep the back of the body long, perhaps lower the right hip slightly and take your left elbow to left knee or perhaps left fingers to the floor. Then keep the back lengthened, no pinching of the left lower back. Keep the right thigh turning toward the floor, but if comfortable, rotate the navel toward the ceiling, then the chest, then if comfortable, the head. Keep the back of the body long, and if comfortable, expand the abdomen, chest, and move throat forward, chin up, gaze at the fingers of the right hand, the drishti, the gazing point. Push the shoulders apart, relax your throat. Check the neck is free. The fingers are lengthened but can move. The spine is lengthened. And actually in this position the abdomen becomes firm. But the abdomen should comfortably be able to breathe. You should feel relaxed. Look down. Lower the right hand, pushing the left foot, stand up. Step slightly forward with the right leg and turn the right foot in. Lower back lengthen, upper back lengthen. Groin lengthen. Then expand the abdomen and lift the collarbone. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Turn the belly to the left. Look towards me, right ear lifted. Take the right hand toward the left shoulder. Then lengthen the left side of the trunk. Left arm past the ear if you can. Right arm toward the left shoulder. Stay. Or tailbone down, top of the hips back. Bend from the spine, not the hips. Stay or bend from the hips, not the head, and if comfortable, take right shoulder past the left knee, perhaps palm to the floor. Keep the tailbone down, top of the hips up, ribs up. But now expand from the abdomen, then the chest, and perhaps lift throat forward, chin up to gaze at the fingers of the left hand. Check the neck is free. Fingers can move, neck can move. Check the tummy can breathe. Check your calm. Firm, but calm. Look down, push the left hip forward and then stand, keeping the twisting action of the arms. Then bring the navel and left arm back to the center. Expand the abdomen, chest. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Shoulders forward, up, then down. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Shoulders up. Lengthen the lower back as you bring down the arms. Spine bends, not the hips. Hips bend, not the head. And step the right foot in front of the left, come to the toe chip. Stay or lift the right hip, the right knee. And relax. Come back down. Step the legs apart for the gudja stance, the elephant stance. If comfortable, bring the thighs parallel to the floor. Comfortable thighs parallel to the floor, knees come out, feet turn in slightly. Easier rather than being in the elephant stance, come into the horse stance. Easier, come into the Shetland pony. Elephant if you can. Okay, but be careful. Push the pubic bone forward and up, top of the hips back, so you lengthen the lower back. Check the neck is relaxed, the fingers can move. Heels squeeze in, big toes push out. There mustn't be pressure on the knees. Interlock the fingers and lengthen the lower back and upper back. Pubic bone push forward and up, arms forward. And then from there, keeping the back of the body long, lift up the arms. Check the neck is free. The tummy can breathe. Arms past the ears if comfortable. More forward as the neck is tense, straight up if the neck is okay. Armpits forward and up, elbows up and back. Keep lengthening the lower back. So most of you need to drop the tailbone. Move the pubic bone forward and top of the hips back. Ribs back. Then bend from the spine, not the hips. And move your throat forward, chin up. Breathe into the abdomen. Push the pubic bone forward. Relax. Release the arms. Come back up, pushing the pubic bone forward. Interlace the hands behind the back. 
and pull the shoulders closer together, closer to the hips and elbows higher. From that position, pubic bone forward and down, top of the hips back. Move the navel forward and up, and perhaps lift throat forward, chin up. Bring the chin in and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Interlace the hands from the front once again. And lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, lift up the arms. Lengthen the left side of the trunk. Stay or squeeze the right heel inwards and move the arms toward the right thigh. Move the navel forward and come back up. Lift the spine, drop the hips. Lengthen the right side of the trunk. Stay or squeeze the left heel inwards and move the navel toward the left and down. Navel forward and up, come back up. Lengthen the back and rotate navel to right side. Face soft, throat relaxed. Move the navel forward, then to the left. Anchor the tailbone, ribs in, lift up the arms. Rotate the navel to the left, relax. Navel forward, then rotate to the right. Drop the hips, lift the arms. Release the hands. Push the tailbone forward. Take the heels wider and touch the fingers to the floor. Push the sitting bones down, top of the hips up, ribs up. Breathe into the abdomen. Expand the navel. Lift the ribs and upper back and breathe up the spine. Push the sitting bones down. Stay or bend from the spine, not the hips. Hips, not the head. Walk the hands backwards. Push the palms down and forward. And if comfortable, bring the chin in towards the throat. Breathe into the abdomen. Palms push down and forward. Elbows down and back. Armpits toward your thighs. Elbows towards each other. Push the sitting bones down and lengthen the lower back and upper back. Straighten the elbows, come to fingertip position. Keep the back of the body lengthened. Expand the abdomen, then the chest and lift the throat forward, chin up. Relax and breathe into the abdomen. Bring the left fingertips under the forehead and rotate your navel to the right, allowing the right hip to lift. Lift the right lower back, the right upper back, lift the right shoulder, the right elbow, the right wrist and the fingertips. Keep the fingers stretching up, then push the right sitting bone down, left hip up. Anchor the sitting bones and lengthen the back of the body. Breathe into the front of the body. One joint at a time. Come down from the fingers, wrists, shoulders, elbows. And then bring the fingers on the floor under the forehead. Lengthen the spine, anchoring the sitting bones. Right fingers under the forehead. Rotate the navel to the left. Lifting the left hip slightly. Then lift left shoulder, left elbow, wrist. Look up if you wish at the left hand lifting the left ear away from the left shoulder. Keep the fingers stretching up. Move your left sitting bone down. Keep the back long. Lower fingers, wrists, elbow, shoulder, and come back to the fingers on the floor under the shoulders position. Anchor the tailbone, lift the top of the hips, then expand the abdomen, chest. Bend the knees. Swivel on the big toes, bring the heels in, push the hips forward, and stand. Nagaj your stand. Lengthen the arms apart. Stand. Bend the knees again. Nagaj your stand. Thighs parallel to the floor, higher up if you need. Knees go out, feet turn in slightly. Squeeze the heels in, push the big toes out. Interlace the, fan, uh, the hands and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Keep the back of the body long. Front of the body expands and optional. Throw it forward, chin up. Drop the tailbone down. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring the arms forward and down. Push the pubic bone forward and up. Navel forward and down. Come down further if you can from the spine. Then the hips. And if comfortable, bring the chin in toward the throat. 
Breathe into the abdomen. Push the pubic bone forward, stand back up. Release the hands and interlock the hands behind the back, bringing shoulders together, close to the hips, elbows high. Pubic bone down and forward, belly button forward and up. Lift throat forward, chin up. Bring the chin in and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Release the hands. Interlace the fingers and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Take the arms up. Drop the tailbone down. Back lengthening, left side lengthening. Stay or squeeze the right heel in. And perhaps bring the right chest toward the right thigh. Move the navel toward the center, then up. Lift up high. Down low with the tailbone. Right side of spine lengthen, lengthens. Squeeze the left heel in, then stay or bring the left chest toward left thigh. Navel comes back to the front and up. Keep the length in the lower back. Then twist the navel to the right side. Neck soft, face soft. Anchor the tailbone, navel forward and then back to the center. Drop the tailbone and lengthen upwards. Drop the tailbone downwards. Navel rotate to left. Navel forward and then back to the center. Tailbone down, ribs up. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Release the arms. Keep the heels where they are. Turn your feet in and hold the ankles. Grabbing the ankles, straighten the legs if comfortable, lift lower back and upper back. Anchor the tailbone, keeping the length in the back, expand the abdomen, then the chest, and move throat forward, chin up. Stay, or push the sitting bones down and bend from the spine, not the hips. Hips, not the head, and the head down last. Bring the chin in if comfortable. Holding the ankles, pull with the hands gently, but take the shoulders toward the knees, elbows toward the toes. Relax your throat, face and eyes. Keep the sitting bones pushing down. Keep the lower back lengthened. Then lengthen the upper back, lifting up the elbows straighten. Keep the back long, keep the tailbone down. Expand the abdomen, then the chest. Throat full, chin up. Stay or if comfortable, bring the palms flat to the floor under the shoulders. Palms flat, fingers grip, raise the heels up in a handstand preparation. Sitting bones push down, top of the hips lift up, length of the lower back. Ribs lift up, lift the upper back. And then push the navel toward the hands and breathe into the abdomen. Perhaps the legs lift off the floor. Lower the heels, lift the ribs up. Then raise the front of the body without shortening the back. Bend the knees. Swivel on the heels, turn the feet out, and push the hips forward to stand up, lengthen the front of the body. The I am a bunny rabbit posture. Come to the I am a teapot posture. Then lengthen the back. Stand back up. Step to the front of the mat, big toe touching, heel apart. Then from that position, bend the knees slightly, and lengthen the lower back, upper back. Lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip behind you, perhaps lift the left leg. Relax, bend the right knee. Bring the left foot to the floor, then stretch the mat with the feet by pushing the sitting bones into the heels. Navel expands, chest expands. Come a third to a half way forward with the spine straight, legs straight. Push right sitting bone into right foot, left sitting bone into left foot. Push the tailbone down and back. Now move the navel forward and up. Stay, or perhaps take the arms in front. This is more difficult for the spine, so make sure your tailbone is pushing back and down. The navel can move forward and up. Check the neck is free, the fingers can move. Bend the right knee. Keep pushing the sitting bones into the feet as you draw the arms back towards you. Breathe into the abdomen. Keep the sitting bones pushing into the feet and move the navel forward and down the chest down, perhaps taking the palms to the floor on either side of the foot, and if the palms flatten easily, the legs might straighten. If the legs straighten easily with the palms flat, 
you may wish to bring your head down. Palms push forward, armpits move back. Sitting bones push into the feet. Check the neck is free, the tummy can breathe. Bend the right knee. Push the pubic bone forward. Stand up if you can. Lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip. And lengthen the back of the body. Expand the navel, the chest, lengthen the front. Lengthen the back of the body, lower the tailbone, and perhaps turn the left thigh in and lift it off the floor. Neck soft, face soft. Move the pubic bone forward, come to the left toe tip. Stay or lift up the left hip, left knee if comfortable, bend the right knee and relax. Big toe touching, heel apart, bend the knees. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, lean on the left leg. Step back the right leg to toe tip, perhaps lift up the right leg and relax. Here you can turn the right thigh out in order to put the right foot onto the floor the right foot turned out slightly, left foot turned in slightly. Now push the sitting bones into the feet as if trying to stretch the mat with your feet from the sitting bones. This makes your trunk firm but allows you to breathe calmly with the diaphragm. You become firm but calm. Stira sukam asanam in the texts. Stay or come a third to a half way forward with the spine straight and legs straight. Push sitting bones into the feet Pull up the kneecaps, but press on the front of the feet. Turn the left thigh out, but lift the outer left foot. Turn the right thigh in, but lift the inner right foot, if comfortable. Stay there, or more challenging to take the arms further forward. As the arms go further forward, protect your back by pushing the tailbone backward and down. Top of the hips up, ribs up, and expand the abdomen. Check your neck can move and your tummy can breathe. Check your calm. Bend the left knee. Draw the arms back towards you. Breathe into the abdomen. Move the navel forward and down. The tailbone backward and down. Put the palms flat to the floor if comfortable. If the arm pits are easily on the knee, you can straighten the left knee. If the palms are easily flat, legs straight, you can comfortably bring the head down perhaps. No strain. Stay calm. Stay relaxed. Bend the left knee, then push the sitting bone forward, the pubic bone forward, stand up, come to the right toe tip and lengthen the back of the body, groin forward, expand the front of the body. Again, lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, tailbone stays down, perhaps lift the right leg up, rotate the right thigh in, breathe into the abdomen. Come forward to right toe tip, perhaps lift up the right hip, right knee, relax. Bring the feet down, hip width apart. Bend the knees. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Lean on the right leg, come to left toe tip. And move the pubic bone forward and down, belly button forward and up. Then move the pubic bone forward and up and the belly forward and down. Stay here or lift up the left knee. Relax. Stay on the floor if you wish or if you're in the air. Get a sense that your trunk is working to put you in this position. Keep that sensation and touch the knee. Let go, check the feeling and the trunk feels the same. And if comfortable, then hold the knee, bring it close, then pull with the arm, push the pubic bone forward and resist with the knee. Stay or experience some flexible people, hold the heel of the left leg and straighten the left leg. Release. Come to left toe tip and lengthen the back of the body. Rotate the trunk to the right side. Expand the front of the body. Bend the elbows, fingers to shoulders, palms facing up to lengthen the heart meridian and the ulnar nerve. Lengthen the right trunk. Move the shoulders apart, relax your throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free and the fingers can move. Drop the tailbone, drop the lower back, lengthen it. Then lift the left hip up till left side is firm, right side relax, stay or lift up the left leg. And sense if you can feel the action of the trunk and hips still working if you grab the left knee. Should feel the same whether you touch or not. And if comfortable, hold, pull with the arm and resist with the knee without losing the core 
activity that got you there. Stay or experience flexible people only. Hold left hand left inner heel, right hand to outer left foot. Release. Come back to left toe tip. Drop the tailbone. Lengthen the front of the hips and perhaps with shoulders apart and back lengthened, lift the left leg and feel the left lower buttocks active. Relax. Stay here on the toe tip or in the air or if comfortable, take the left hand to left foot, pull the foot to the back side and if possible point the fingers to toes and do Utita Bekas, the standing frog pose. If so, push the left shoulder forward. If comfortable, bend the spine forward. Release. Come to left toe tip and again lengthen the back. Stay over the back length and lift the left leg and perhaps take the left ankle or the top of the foot and then push the foot back, trying to straighten the knee, try and lengthen the front of the hip and if comfortable, lift the leg further up. It's a twisting, back bending, side bend as the left shoulder goes back and down, bring the right shoulder forward and up and perhaps Bring the right arm forward, body forward. Release. Come slowly back to left toe tip. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. And then from that position, relax. And twist to the left side. Lengthen the left side of the body. Move the navel forward and down. Then move the left foot to the right. Move the navel forward and down to the left as you twist to the left side, bringing left arm behind you if comfortable. Stay or lift up the left knee, taking right arm past the left knee, left hand to the back of the body. Stay or bring the left arm back up, right arm on outside of left knee. And flexible, strong people can, if you wish, reach the left hand to the inner left foot and right shoulder inner left knee. Soft throat, face and eyes. Release the leg and arm. Come back to left toe tip. Twist to the left side. Then bring the navel back to the center. Groin forward. Belly expand. Lift the collarbone and bring the palms gently together. Stay or lift up the left leg. Relax. Bend elbows and knees. Come back down to your left foot. Lean on the left leg, come to right toe tip. And lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Groin forward. Expand the abdomen, chest, and move the shoulders back and down. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring the shoulders up, then forward perhaps. Stay on the floor or lift the right leg up if comfortable. And relax. Stay or bring the right knee to the chest, checking that when you hold the knee, the abdomen doesn't lose the strength that got there. And if comfortable, knee to chest, armpits touch the knee, lean back, work towards straightening the left leg and make the arm pull towards you, the knee push away. But keep the spine sensing that firmness that first got it there. But it's a firmness you must be able to breathe into. Check that you can still comfortably breathe into the abdomen. Stay there or hold the left hand, left heel, right hand, right big toe and work towards bringing the straightened right leg towards the face. Not everyone, only a few people this is appropriate for. Release the leg, come to right toe tip and lengthen the back of the body. Twist to the left side. Lengthen the front of the body, abdomen, chest and throat. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back and lengthen the left side of the trunk. Move the shoulders apart, relax your throat. Hands apart, check the neck is free. Left arm high, tailbone lower, back lengthen. Now from the right pubic bone, right hip, lift up. Lengthening the left side of the trunk, firm and shorten the right side. Stay or lift up the right leg. Lengthen and relax. Stay or keeping the trunk engagement that took you there, hold right hand, right knee. And if comfortable, pull with the hand, resist with the knee without losing the firmness in the trunk. Stay there, or flexible, strong people hold right hand. Right in the heel, left hand, outer, right foot. Release. Come to the right toe tip, 
and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Stay with the tailbone down, lift up the right leg until you feel length in the front of the hip, length in the lower back and a gentle firmness in the right lower buttocks region. Stay or hold the right foot to the back side and perhaps take the fingers to point same direction as the toes for Bekasana. If so, push the right shoulder forward and lengthen the lower back and the front of the hips. Perhaps bend forward. Come back up. Release the right leg, come to right toe tip. Lengthen the lower back. Turn the right shoulder out. The tailbone down, lift up the right leg perhaps and grab the inner right ankle or foot. Tailbone down, knee back. Belly out, chest up. Stay or push the knee to straighten. The groin to lengthen. And perhaps come a third to a halfway forward. The spine here is sideways bending twisting and bending backwards. Lengthen the front without shortening the back. Release and come to right toe tip. Bend the left knee again and rotate the navel to the right side. Palm facing up. Bend the elbow. Lengthen the right side of the trunk. Move the navel forward and down and take the right foot to the left side. Then stay or Bring the arm behind you. Bring your right arm behind you, perhaps. Lift up the right knee and hold right arm toward the left waist. Left arm on the right knee. Stay or flexible people. Take your right arm back up and then take your left elbow on the outer left right knee, right hand on the inner right foot. Release the leg. Come back down and keep twisting to the right side. Turn the navel back to the center. Expand the navel forward and up. Lengthen the back of the body. And come back to the palms together position. Lean on the left leg, perhaps lift the right leg up. And relax. Relax. Bend the right knee. Come back to the front of the mat with big toes touching, heels apart, and bend the knees. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back. Here, lengthen the back of the body. Now bend to the hips. Push the hips forward. Lengthen the back of the body, front of hips. Take the shoulders forward and up. Keep the back of the body long. Now expand the navel, chest, and move throat forward, chin up. Bring the chin in again, lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, as you allow the legs to straighten and the arms to come down. We'll do the same again, this time with one leg further back. Bend the knees, pubic bone forward and up, bend the spine, not the hips. Bend the hips, not the head. Lean on the right leg, keep the tailbone down, and take the left leg behind you to the floor, perhaps lift the left leg up. Relax. Lengthen, make space for the body and relax. Bring the left foot to the floor, left foot turning out. Now push the sitting bones apart into the feet, relax the pelvic floor. Move the tailbone toward the left heel, then move the right sitting bone forward, then expand the abdomen, chest, lift the shoulders, elbows and arms. Keep the back of the body long and move the navel forward and up, throat forward, chin up, getting a sense that you're lengthening the front of the body without shortening the back. Push right sitting bone into right foot, Push left sitting bone to left foot. Push the tailbone to the left foot and down. Move the navel forward and up. Move the chest forward and up at the collarbone. And take the armpits forward and up. Elbows up and back. Check the neck can move. The tummy can breathe. Check your calf. Bring the chin in. Bend the knees slightly and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring the arms forward and down. Bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head. Push the tailbone forward and stand back into the standing squat. Push the hips forward, stand up. Lengthen lower back, middle back up, lift the shoulders up. Drop the tailbone, navel, chest and throat forward, chin up. Bring the chin in and let the legs straighten without shortening your spine. Bring down the arms. Bend the knees. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Arms go up. Bring down the arms without shortening the spine. 
Spine bends forward, not the hips. Hips bend forward, not the head. Lean on the left leg, keep the tailbone down, step the right leg back to touch it. Perhaps lift the right leg in the air. Relax. Relax. Bring the right foot to the floor. Then from there, push the left sitting bone forward, right sitting bone back. Keep the tailbone pushing to the right foot and down. Now push the left hip forward. And then stand lengthening the front of the body without shortening the back. Lift the shoulders up, elbows, wrists and arms. Belly expand, chest expand and throat forward, chin up. Here, create length around your lower back by pushing the right sitting bone into the right foot, left sitting bone into the left foot. Push the tailbone toward the right foot and down. Move the navel forward and up, chest forward and up. Move the shoulders forward and up to traction the spine, relieving the lower back up. And then take the elbows up and back. Check the neck is free. The fingers can move and the tummy can breathe. Here the right foot is turned out, but the right big toe squeeze in. Left foot is turned in, but the left heel squeeze in. Bend the knee slightly and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Bring the chin in and bring the arms forward and down. Bend from the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head. Step forward with the right leg. Push the sitting bones forward toward the toes as you stand. Lengthening lower back first, upper back second, then the shoulders. Keep the back long and expand the front of your hips, the groin. Expand the navel, then the chest, and lift throat forward, chin up. Breathe into the abdomen. Bring the chin in, and then bring down the arms. Lengthen and relax. Bend the knees. Push the hips forward, lengthen the back. Lift up the shoulders. Belly expand, chest expand, throat forward, chin up. Bring the chin in and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back, and bend the spine, not the hips. Bend from the hips, not the head. Keep your knees bent in the beginning. Palms flat, chin in. Lean on the palms. Lift the lower back, upper back, raise the heels if you can, and push the sitting bones down. Top of the hips up, lengthen the lower back. Ribs up, lift the upper back, and push the navel toward the hands. Breathe into the abdomen. Perhaps the legs lift in the air. Then come back to a kneeling plank. Fingers grip, chin in. Stay or lower to a kneeling push-up. Stay or chin up, shoulders down, then up. Tailbone down, perhaps knees up. Stay or strong, flexible people lift up to a full plank. Then perhaps the full push-up. Relax. Check your shoulders can move. Your neck can move. Your tummy can break. Then you'll come to simple cobra, pull with the wrists, pull with the elbows rather, stretch the wrists, stay or hand back behind you, and you can come into the upward facing dog. Back to the simple cobra, lengthen first the lower back, and come back to the kneeling plank. Tailbone down, come back to the downward facing dog, and then to facilitate an understanding of what I want to show next, Raise the head up, bend the knees slightly, and walk in a circle so your fingers come to the back of the mat, your feet come to the front of the mat, and you can see me from between your legs. So you stay there, I'm going to go back where I was. Then from that position, if comfortable, check you can see your navel by pushing your sitting bones down top of the hips up, ribs up. Stay here, if comfortable, put the elbows on the floor. Thumbs touching the forearm balance preparation. Then from this position, push the sitting bones down, top of the hips up, ribs in and up. Walk in a bit closer. Check you can still see me from between the uh, legs. And then with the tailbone pushing down, still seeing the navel, lift the left leg up. Turn the left thigh in. Check you can still see your navel. Neck soft, tummy can breathe. Both feet down. Sitting bones push down, top of the hips lift up. Lengthen the lower back. Ribs lift up, lift the upper back. Tailbone stays down, right leg goes up. Turn the right thigh in. Neck is soft, face soft, throat relaxed. Both feet down, breathe into the abdomen. Sitting bones down, face soft. 
Kneel. Relax. Come back to the kneeling plank. Breathe into the abdomen. Stay or go to the kneeling push-up. Simple cobble. Push the tailbone down, knees up. Breathe into the abdomen. Come back to the kneeling plank. Lengthen the lower back first, upper back second, neck third. Tail down back to the downward facing dog. And then from that position, knees bent, head up. Walk forward. Come to the cross-legged position, lean on the palms, lift the chin up, perhaps lift the feet off the floor. Lolas. Breathe into the abdomen. Sit back on the floor and stretch the wrists. Turn to face me. Lean on the hands. Lean back. Perhaps lift the legs up. Perhaps lift the legs in the air and then rotate the ankles, letting the thighs turn out then in. Check the neck is relaxed. The fingers soft. The toes soft. Breathe into the abdomen. Go the other way. So it's not just the ankles that are turning in circles. Feel your thighs turn as well. Cross the legs. Sit on the floor. And have the heels further forward so there's an, about a 90 degree angle between the knees, between the shins and the thighs. Then lengthen the lower back, upper back. Expand the abdomen, then the chest. And lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Relax. Expand the abdomen. Turn from the navel to the right side. Look towards me with the left ear lifted and bring left palm over the right shoulder. Lengthen the right side of the trunk and move the navel to the right side and down. Bring the arms down, right hand behind you, left hand touch right knee. Keep turning from the navel to the right side and look over your right shoulder with the right ear lifted. Move the navel forward and up, lift the throat, lift the chin and then move the navel to the left to look over your left shoulder, left ear lifted. Move the navel forward and down then navel to the right side, lift the arms to the right side. Navel moving to the right, then up. Keep the left hand still. Now move the navel back to the left and bring right arm under the left. Anchor the tailbone. Move the navel forward and up and lengthen the front of the body. Anchor the tailbone. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Relax. Move from the navel region to the left side. Chest, shoulder, elbow, follow. Right hand above the left shoulder. Lengthen the left side of the trunk. Move the navel forward and down to the left. Take the left arm behind you, perhaps touching left hand to the floor, and right arm past the left knee. Keep turning from the navel and rotate the spine, then the neck to the left. Looking over the left ear, left ear lifted, left shoulder rather, left ear lifted. Expand the navel, lifting the front of the body, lift the chin, now rotate the navel back to the right side, creating resistance with your arm against the knee. Move the navel forward and down to the left, and then move the arms to the left, then up. Keep the looking over the right shoulder with the right ear lifted. Lift your arms up. Keep the right arm where it is, then move the navel back to the center. Left arm under the right. Move the navel forward and up without lifting the tailbone if possible. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. And tailbone down, move the navel forward and up. Lengthen lower back, middle back up, keep the throat up. Anchor the tailbone, navel goes down and forward, armpits down and forward, head down last. Keep the back long, then expand from the navel to move the navel forward and up, chest forward and up, chin up. Bring the navel down, bring the head back down. Anchor the tailbone, move the navel forward and up, sit back up and lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Expand the abdomen, lift the chin up, throat forward, chin up. 
Move the navel forward and down, bring the head down, neck back. Again, keep the back long. Expand the front from the belly to lift throat forward, chin up. Move from the navel to bring head down, neck back. Keep doing this, or if comfortable, lean back, lift the legs off the floor. Throw it forward, head up. Relax. Head down, neck back. As you lean further back, the core automatically becomes on, but you should be able to breathe comfortably into the abdomen. Navel expands, lift throat forward, chin up. Bring the navel forward and down, head forward and down. Keep doing this with the arms in the air, or place the palms on the floor, lift the hips up. And continue, throw it forward, chin up. Head down, neck back. Lift the lower back, upper back, and expand the navel, throw it forward, chin up. Head down, neck back. Expand the navel, throw it forward, chin up. Head down, neck back. Sit on the floor and again lengthen the lower back, turn the shoulders in and lengthen the wrists, the back of the wrist. This can relieve any wrist strain and tensions the radial nerve and the large intestine meridian. Then keep the lower back lifting and lengthening. Anchor the tailbone and bring the palms above the knees. Relax. Lengthen the lower back, middle back, upper back as the navel sucks in softly. Turn the shoulders in. Bend the elbows, bring the head down. Lift lower back, upper back, lift the shoulders, then the arms. Keep the back long and expand the abdomen, chest, and move throat forward, chin up. Anchor the tailbone, bring the navel forward and down, chest forward and down, chin is still up, chin is still up. Turn the shoulders in, head comes down, last. Like a wave. Lengthen the front of the body, lengthen the front of the throat. Keep the chin up. Bend forward from the navel, keep the chin up, turn the shoulders in. Then bring the head down. Keep the chin in. Lift lower back, upper back, lift the shoulders and arms. Then keeping the back long, expand abdomen, chest and throat forward, chin up. Keep the chin up. Move the navel forward and down, then the chest up, chest down rather. Shoulders in, wrists in, head down last. And open the palms. Feel the energy between the palms as you bring them closer together. Relax. Anchor the sitting bones. Keep the spine lifted. Abdomen feeling relaxed. See if you can feel an energy field between the hands. And lengthen the back of the body, open the palms. Close the palms. Feeling like a, a, a spring of energy pushed together. Now feel like you're pulling apart two strong rubber bands, a field of energy between the hands. Neck soft, abdomen soft. Feel a thick energy field between the hands if you can. Lengthen. Relax. Point right hand to left palm. Wiggle the fingers a little bit. Then move the palms apart. And see if you can feel the energy of the fingers moving against the palm of the opposite hand. Come back and closer. How close do you need to get before you can feel the energy of the fingers pointing at the palm? Open apart again. Close. Point the second hand to the opposite palm and then move the fingers and move the palm apart. Pointing the fingers of one hand to the palm of the other, can you feel the energy of the fingers on the opposite palm? Stay relaxed. Lengthen, relax, and move in closer. How close do you need to get before you feel the energy of the fingers on the opposite palm? Open the palm.
relax. Close the palms. Again, lengthen. And sense that you're lengthening in all directions. So drop the sitting bones down. Move the top of the hips back, lengthen the lower back. Move the ribs back, lift the upper back. Move the shoulders further apart, relax the throat. Widen the elbows and wrists. Lengthen the fingers, but relax. And if comfortable, rest the wrists on the knees. Stay relaxed. Relax abdomen, pelvic floor, shoulders, jaw, and then close the eyes. Be here, be now. Be still, calm and quiet in body, breath and mind. Gently open the eyes. Lengthen lower back, middle back, upper back. Anchor the tailbone. Keep the back long. Expand the abdomen, the chest, and the throat. Anchor the tailbone. Narrow the back. Lift the shoulders, and then narrow the front. Back lengthen. Back widen. Front lengthen. Front widen. Both inhaling. Back narrow and lengthen, exhaling from the back. Front narrow and lengthen, exhaling from the front. Have a nice day.